Hi everyone, Sandman here. Today's video is brought to you by a donation from Christian, and here's what he has to say. Hi Sandman, I believe that I'm a level above MGTOW, and that I'm ascending into something few MGTOWs will ever reach. Ever since I was a teenager, I've been completely angry at women and been wanting to torment one girl that I knew for about five years now. This girl used me as an emotional tampon and I didn't even know it. She was a complete train wreck and was forced into sex slavery by her mother when she was only six years old. How does someone even do that to their own child? I was hooked to this girl and she was and still is the only girl that I've ever had in my life. For five years, I was suckered into giving her my money as well as helping her out. She was always around druggies as well as sexual deviants. Her so-called boyfriends would abuse her and rape her before she went to work, but she basically stayed with them. Due to her anxiety problems as well as poor self-esteem, she often was unreliable at work. I saw her work performance absolutely fall apart. I often heard her crying in the bathroom. I thought that maybe she would actually have sex with me, take my virginity, or give me my first BJ because I was doing more than all of her boyfriends combined. She actually told me this several times. I thought we actually had a meaningful relationship and would actually finally have sex. I always build her out out of crap that she caught herself in due to her friends. Her friends stole money from her and I was the one to give her more. She's still having trouble keeping jobs as well. She has several miscarriages. At one point she had sex with two men, one of which was actually a child molester. She was also surprised when she saw that she was pregnant each time, and each time she said she wished I was the father's baby. Yet again, she never offered me sex. She just saw me as a friend and was only interested in me when she was flat broke, and she continued to see the bad boys. When I stopped talking to her, she got really mad at me, and a few months later she messaged me out of the blue and asked me for more money, which I refused. Then a little bit later down the road, her childhood friend who confessed to her that he liked her was refused sex just like me. The amount of rage I have towards her and women like her due to MGTOW knowledge is truly demonic. I can't get through the day not getting agitated at some girl at least once. I believe that I've not only reached the full red pill, but have ascended past level 3 red pill and am now something more. I've thought about this and coined the term Rage Tau, a MGTOW that's completely furious at women and sees nothing but red and wants to see women suffer. I know all this hate is rather unhealthy, so I'm seeing a counselor and I'm actually on medication and my rage since then has calmed down. I'm not what I once was over a year ago. My counselor also understands how I view women and we're working through this together. It's just that I'm so enraged at women for their nature and the girl that used me as a utility. The fact that I won't get those five years back, that's what enrages me the most. I'm completely bitter and want to watch the world burn. Call me sadistic, but I'm happy that the girl I knew was basically used by others. It's like a payback for rejecting me. I wanted to know if with all this information I'm the world's first rage tau. Please make a response video. I want to see if I'm not alone and if other MGTOWs feel the same way. Thanks, Sandman, and have a good day, as well as cheers. Well, Christian, thanks for your donation as well as your topic request. First of all, I think what you're describing as Rage Tau is just the first stage of going your own way, and it's commonly referred to as the Red Pill Rage. You'll have to get back in line as I coined that term back in 2014, early in the year. I know how it feels, and so do many other men listening to this right now. You weren't informed about female nature. No one told you about how deceptive and manipulative they could be, so you saw them as virtuous, loving creatures. It's in the interest of the governments and society to make us believe that. Also, if men open their mouths and speak about the true nature of women in public places, that women often show up to silence us. It's almost as if women have some collective conspiracy to silence us because they know if more men figure out female nature, the less goodies they get from us. The less they get to use us as emotional tampons as well as resources. The reason I titled this video Burn Baby Burn, Cue the Disco Inferno Music, is because you're not the only person that wants to see things burn to the ground. But after you get through the red pill rage and learn about female nature some more, you'll set out on a new journey so you can protect yourself from being friend-zoned ever again and losing another five years of your life. You know you can't get what you want from women, so you're thinking, let the world be damned and let it burn, baby, burn. As Alfred once said, some people just want to see the world burn. And like the Joker in Christopher Nolan's franchise, we never learn about his motivation. We just know that he's an intelligent guy that is angry at the existing social order and wants to rearrange it. One great film about the clueless blue pill man is Forrest Gump. He went through a similar infatuation with the woman named Jenny. But ironically, once he makes his money and inherits his house, she comes running back to him. Christian, there's no sense in getting angry about this for the rest of your life. It is what it is and you have to accept it. You'll learn to eventually make peace with your rage and emerge a better balanced person. You'll then go out and probably educate others about the dangers of gynocentrism. Deal with your anger in a productive fashion. Women like the one that you mentioned, or like Jenny from Forrest Gump, are so damaged from their childhoods that they're impossible to rescue. You need an army of white knights to save a girl like this, not just one. 
Sometimes the best thing we can do for ourselves is just to let go of the past and move forward. Women are like a box of chocolate. They all have different shapes, sizes, and flavors, but they all have the same basic ingredient to them, which is chocolate. After reading your message, it got me thinking about many other ways that this girl was actually messing around with you that I don't think you were aware of. What if her friends never actually stole any money from her? What if she just said that to get more money from you? What if she just knew that you were gullible enough to fall for it each and every single time? What if her work performance was also bad intentionally because she knew she would get the same amount of money as everyone else for doing far less work or quality work? Today I was talking to a woman about the marriage strike. She's in her early 40s and dating, and when she was younger, her mother and grandmother told her to find a nerdy man that would be a loving husband and a good provider. Instead, she decided to chase the bad boy fraternity guys that she was fond of. And I told her how men are walking away, and she said, stop saying that, it's rather depressing, and I don't want to think about living the rest of my life alone. I finally got an honest answer from a woman for what the marriage strike and MGTOW are actually doing to them. They're afraid of being alone, but they don't want to improve or behave themselves. She knew the risks of chasing a frat boy, and she did it still, and now she's crying about this entire ordeal. Women, when left to their own devices, will often destroy themselves. They have all the freedoms in the world, so all we can do at this point is watch the modern-day woman-child take the matches and burn the house down. As men, we're powerless to save society because we have been stripped of our authority over women. All we have is ourselves that we can empower and change. That's why MGTOW is so powerful, because it gives us agency to direct our own lives above all others. Christian, I'm also glad that you're taking therapy, but also consider getting off the medication. I recently did a video about school shooters, and many people told me that most of the shooters were actually on legal prescription drugs, and they were sexually frustrated. I just don't want you to get any homicidal thoughts from the drugs. Talk about all your problems to your therapist, and avoid the meds if you can. Also, after you get out of your anger phase, I suspect that you'll probably think about dating at some point. Try not to get one-itis for any other woman like you did this girl. Five years is a long time to get used. I spent 15 years getting used in more subtle ways by two women, but at least I got affection, sex, as well as companionship from the situation. I find it crazy that women have no problems using men for many years before the guys clue in and stop talking to them. There's even an old Klingon proverb that says that revenge is a dish served best cold. If you want to get back at this woman and women in general, because quite honestly it sounds like you're holding a grudge, then you can basically work to improve yourself physically, mentally, financially, and emotionally, and when women see this new you, they might actually flock to it. At that point, the best thing you can do is build up your conversation skills and rub it in their face, with regards to what you have after they've decided to reject you. Playing games with women's minds is a pastime that I know many men these days probably do because of how badly they've been hurt in the past. When I first heard about MGTOW and men's rights, I thought that men's rights was a good way for men to go. But it's mostly about throwing your energy into a black hole or at one of the female MRAs and hoping that your wishful thinking accomplishes something. But the truth is, once women got the vote, the battle for Western civilization was pretty much over. The only way to fix things is to let them burn it to the ground first and start again. Your instinct and anger, Christian, are absolutely correct. There's nothing wrong with you going and getting all angry about any of this. Women are going to crave the bad boys and you can't do anything to change that. They will crave money and lie and steal to good men like you to get it. What they don't seem to realize is that the more men they burn, such as yourself, the less options they will have in the future as more men learn about going their own way and leave the plantation. As you now know, women are scared when they think about spending the rest of their lives alone. In the past, that fear drove them to marry and have children in their late teens and early 20s. Today, however, they also have so many options to play the field and enjoy life that the last thing they're thinking about is spending their lives alone. Christian takes solace in knowing that there are many events out there for women past the age of 40 to socialize with one another. They all sit around like clucking chickens because they're generally unmarried or divorced, and life for them is miserable and misery loves company. But as men, we get older and we crave more peace and quiet, and women chase a more social atmosphere. Women cause many men to suffer while we're in our teens, 20s, and 30s, but they're the ones that suffer the most in the end once they enter old age and are single and lonely and ask where all the good men have gone. Actually, the truth is the stupid, good-looking guys got married, but the smart guys like ourselves will enjoy the fruits of our labor when we choose and how we choose. That's about the only true power we have over ourselves. So long as we can stop chasing tail long enough to see it for what it is, then we can harness our anger and turn it into a grudge and make us more productive. We have to take the disadvantages of being a male and turn them into the advantages instead. Turn your anger into something positive and productive instead of something that needs to be medicated away. Anger is a healthy human emotion, especially if someone uses you and you finally realize it. I worry that in future societies we will say that men that are angry at women are sick and need to be put on antipsychotic medication. Anything is possible. I say elevate yourself as an individual male while society burns all around you. Also keep in mind that the girl that used you for five years will eventually get old and desperate and the long line of suckers will have vanished and she'll be stuck on government assistance or couch surfing. 
I know that I've got an overactive imagination, but sometimes I find it therapeutic to think of people that did me wrong in a rather vengeful way. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again, Christian, for your donation. And as for everyone else out there, please follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook to get tomorrow's video today. Thanks for taking your daily dose of red pills. And remember, a red pill a day eventually keeps the red pill rage away. So enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.